go to StellarTickets.com, spelled S-T-E-L-L-A-R, Tickets.com, and scroll down the page to find the Three International Tenors Concert. The concerts are organized by date on the page, so you have to scroll a little ways to find December 19th. Click on that concert, then scroll down the next page until you see Add an Offer Code. Click on Add a Code. Enter that code in the box labeled Enter Code Here, then click Add Code. It is very important that you enter this code when purchasing the ticket in order to get our special discount. Once you've selected your number of tickets, scroll to the bottom of the page and click Checkout. This takes you to the Payment page. Enter your name and phone number in the boxes indicated and click Continue. A new box will open up where you can enter your email address. Be careful to enter the correct email because this is where you will receive your ticket confirmation. Again, click Continue. A new box will open where you can enter your credit card number, expiration date, CCV or security code, and billing zip code. Once that's entered, click Pay Now. The window will show you that your purchase is processing. If you click back at any point, you may have to go through this process again, beginning with adding the offer code, selecting your special Pebble Creek offer, and then going to checkout. Once your payment has been processed, a new window will open that offers you the option to run a test on your desktop or laptop computer or on a mobile device. To run a test on your computer, click Run the Test in the first section on the right-hand side of the page. To watch on a mobile device or television, it is necessary to download the Stellar Tickets app on your Android, iOS, also Apple, or tvOS device. There are instruction videos for these options on this page too. You may wish to bookmark this page on your browser, since you'll need to return to it for a code when setting up watching on your television. We hope you enjoy the concert. Thank you for coming. If you'd like to watch the concert on your home television with your Apple TV device, these instructions will help you get started. Begin by turning on your television and waking up your Apple TV. This is the home screen. If the first screen that comes up doesn't look like this, click the menu button until you do get to it. Once on this screen, we want to download the Stellar app. Navigate over to the A for the App Store and click to bring it up. Then at the top of the screen you'll see a navigation bar that contains a magnifying glass at the far right. Click on that magnifying glass and it will take you to the alphabet where you want to spell out Stellar. Select the letters Oops, I made a mistake. It's no problem. Click the back arrow. Now let's go back to the T. We're trying to spell out Stellar. And what you'll notice is if you get far enough into spelling it, Stellar Tickets will be one of your options. Navigate to Stellar Tickets, click again. And this brings up the Stellar screen or the Stellar app. The white button that shows a cloud with an arrow pointing down out of it is your download button. Click to activate it. When the app is downloaded, the white button now says open. Click again and the Stellar Tickets app will open. At this point, the app needs your code to be able to access the live stream. We want to go back to the computer or the device where you ordered your tickets and get a code to be able to enter on this screen. When you go back to your computer, you'll want to go to StellarTickets.com. 
The first page that comes up is the Stellar Tickets homepage. Click on your tickets in the upper right hand corner. That will bring up a page showing what you've purchased tickets for, in this case, your concert. Click on the image of your concert and it will take you to a page for that concert. And on that page, around the middle of the right hand side, you'll see a code. This code is only good for 60 seconds. So you'll want to write it down and go back to your television fairly quickly before the code expires. Then we can enter the code into the screen on your television. The code on our computer is 103298. So let's enter that. As you saw, we could erase easily by going to the far right end of the numbers. Now we're on the page for your concert and you're all set up for the date of the concert. You can see the blue purple um, button that says watch the show. Right now that button is inactivated because it's not showtime yet. But on the day of the show, you can click that button anywhere from an hour before the concert until the concert is finished and it will take you directly to the live stream of the concert or the pre-show activities. We now are all set up. You can close everything down and wait for the day of the concert. On that day, come back and we'll follow the instructions in the next segment. On the day of the concert, turn on your television, wake up your Apple TV, and come back to the home screen. Again, if the home screen isn't the first one to come up, hit your menu button until you see a screen that looks like this. Now we want to go find the Stellar app that we've previously installed. So scroll through your apps, and there it is. Typically, it'll be the last one you installed, and we'll get at the end of the list. When you find the Stellar app, highlight it, which means it's bigger than the rest. Click on it, and there's your screen that you need to play your live stream. If you're within an hour of the beginning of the concert, click on Watch the Show, and the pre-show or concert activities will begin. We hope you enjoyed the concert, and we thank you for attending. If you would like to watch the concert on your television using your Amazon Fire Stick, the first thing to do is start your TV, make sure your Amazon Fire Stick is also awake. This is the home screen for the Amazon Fire Stick. If this screen isn't the first one that comes up, click on your home key on the Amazon Fire Stick remote until you're at this page. Then. Using the navigation circle on the remote, scroll left to get to the magnifying glass, also the search, and navigate down. We want to find the Stellar Tickets app, and so we will spell out Stellar, starting S-T-E, let's go find the L, and click it. And at this point, you'll see on the list below, the third item is Stellar. So let's navigate down to that button and click on it. Now you can see under Apps and Games, there's the Stellar app. Since it's bigger than all the rest, that one is selected right now. So click on it to open it. The Tickets app is ready for download. You see the yellow button with a cloud on it and an arrow coming out of the cloud? If we click there, it will download. It starts by queuing, then it will download. Now it moves on to installing. Now click one more time to open the app. The app would like the code that shows that you bought the ticket. In order to do that, we need to go back to your browser. You'll want to go to StellarTickets.com. The first page that comes up is the Stellar Tickets homepage. Click on your tickets in the upper right hand corner. That will bring up a page showing what you've purchased tickets for, in this case, your concert. Click on the image of your concert and it will take you to a page for that concert. 
and on that page, around the middle of the right-hand side, you'll see a code. This code is only good for 60 seconds, so you'll want to write it down and go back to your television fairly quickly before the code expires. Then we can enter the code into the screen on your television. The code we got from the computer was 212508. We want to put that in by navigating through the numbers. First you click to get to this screen showing the numbers and now we go through them and select them by navigating to them and clicking on them. Once you've chosen the final number and if you've done it within 60 seconds you'll get this screen which is the stellar your ticket screen showing the concert that you bought. You'll see the button, it's gray with white letters, that says watch the show. Right now that button doesn't do anything because it's not time for the show yet. But once it's time for the show, you'll be able to click it and get to either the pre-show or the actual concert. Today, you don't need to go there, unless it's concert day, of course. So let's shut everything down and we'll come back and we'll start fresh to find this page. On the day of the concert, you want to get back to your television and start it up and also wake up your fire stick. You'll be again at the home page and you'll navigate down to the Stellar app. Once again, it, when it's selected, it's larger than the rest of the other apps. Click on the Stellar app and it will take you to the page for your concert. On the day of the concert, watch the show is the button you need to press and activate. Up to one hour before the show, there'll be pre-show activities. So come early, check in. When it's show time, the concert will start and it will be a live stream. We hope you enjoy the show and we thank you for coming. If you'd like to watch the concert on your home television using your Roku device, we'll start by turning on the television and waking up your Roku device. This is the home screen. If you're not on this screen when you turn it on, click on the home button on your Roku remote. Our first task is to find the Stellar app that will enable you to play the concert. In order to add the Stellar app to your channel lineup, you want to navigate to the right side of the page or screen, then down until you get to Add Channels. When it's outlined in white, you know you've selected it. Now let's click OK. And then move down to Search Channels. Click on that. And now you've got alphabetic characters that you can use to spell out Stellar. Move around and then select the letters you want. What you'll find is, after a few letters, Roku's going to figure out where you're trying to go. And here's Stellar at the top of our list. Let's click OK to go get the Stellar app. We made a mistake. We added one too many letters. So let's go down and use the back key. OK, now we're back to Stellar. And let's hit OK. And we want to add the channel to our lineup. Click on that. And the channel will be added. It's telling us it's been added to our home screen at the end. And we can move it around if we want, but for right now, I just leave it where it is. Let's click OK. And now we can click Go to Channel. We want to go back to the computer or the device where you ordered your tickets and get a code to be able to enter on this screen. When you go back to your computer, you want to go to Stellar tickets.com. The first page that comes up is the Stellar Tickets homepage. Click on your tickets in the upper right hand corner. 
That will bring up a page showing what you've purchased tickets for, in this case, your concert. Click on the image of your concert and it will take you to a page for that concert and on that page, around the middle of the right hand side, you'll see a code. This code is only good for 60 seconds, so you'll want to write it down and go back to your television fairly quickly before the code expires. Then we can enter the code into the screen on your television. Now that we have our code that was generated on the Stellar Tickets website, we can enter the code here. Start by clicking OK, and that'll bring up the numerical pad where you can pick out the numbers in your code. Ours is 289685. Remembering that time is of the essence, let's navigate to it. And then click OK to capture that number. Now we're going to the 8, then the 9, 6, 8, 5. Click OK. And that did it. We did it fast enough. We are now on the Stellar page for your concert. It remembers that you bought these tickets. That's what the code is for. You'll see a gray button there that says, watch the show. Since we're setting things up well before the show, that button's not going to work. This is a live show, so it's only going to work when the broadcast is happening. So. At this point, you are all set up until the day of the concert. Feel free to shut things down, go on about your life. Then we'll come back on the day of the concert and pick out this show and start it. On the day of the concert, turn on your television, wake up your Roku, and now we're going to navigate to the Stellar Tickets app or channel on the Roku device. Start at the home screen. If this isn't the screen that comes up when you turn on your television and wake up your Roku, you want to hit the home button on your Roku remote. Once you're on this home page, we're going to navigate to the Stellar app. And if you remember, it was placed at the end of our apps. So let's scroll down until we see it, and there it is. Navigate over to it, click OK, and your tickets page will come up. There you see the concert, and again, there's the button that says watch the show. If you are doing this any time from an hour before the concert to the end of the concert, that button is now active and you can select it. There are pre-show activities, interviews, stories you may want to watch before the concert starts. It's also nice to get it all set up and ready to go before they start singing. So click watch the show. Enjoy the pre-show and enjoy the concert. We thank you for coming.